This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on the Computer Science 2 course. I'm on level 15, Backwoods Standoff, and I'm uh, playing the JavaScript version. Let's see what we're doing. Munchkins are attacking. Oh no, that must be these guys. You hear my about Okay. Uh, the swarms will come at regular intervals. When Whenever you can, cleave to clear the mass enemies. All right, so we have our wall true loop here, right? So anything in between this bracket and that bracket is going to run forever. Slash, slash, those are comments. Those are meant for humans, right? The computer doesn't read comments. They're meant for us. All right, let's see what we have here. Use an if statement with re is ready to check cleave. And if we forgot, if we forgot what an if statement is, you can always click right here. I remember. So I'm going to go ahead and type in if. I'm going to click on this, and it should fill it in. Yep. Now we want to use an if statement with is ready to check cleave. Okay, so let me see if I start typing is, nope. Hmm, what was is ready? Well, let's see. We want to do hero dot, okay, hero dot, whoops. Hero dot is ready. And then we have is ready is a method of our hero, right? We're checking if something is ready. What are we checking? We're checking hero something. So it's part of the properties. It's a method of hero. Let's see. Hero is ready. What can we put in there? We could put cleave. Okay, but it needs to go in quotes. So it needs to be a string, right? So we need to put cleave in quotes. So we're saying, hey, hero is cleave ready. That's what this part of the code is doing. So use an if statement if it's ready to check cleave. Well, if it's ready, I bet I would want to do hero dot cleave, right? It would make sense to cleave if it is ready. And I can cleave the enemy because, well, find nearest enemy. We found that. Um, oh, well, that's what we did. If statement cleave else. Oh, so we need an else statement on this one. So else. I'm going to put the bracket, enter, enter, bracket, because otherwise I'll forget. Else, if it is not ready, attack the nearest ogre. So attack, yep, hero dot attack, and it can be enemy as well. So what should happen when this function runs is when this loop runs, it's gonna say, okay, if uh, find the nearest enemy, name that enemy hero. Then it's gonna say, hero is cleave ready, and if cleave is ready, your hero will always do a cleave, which is great. That eliminates more enemies. But if not else so this is asking the computer a question this is a condition if hero dot is ready cleave so if cleave is ready if that condition is true it's going to run whatever codes inside these brackets if not if it's false all the code after it all the code in the else statement is what's going to get run and we should attack the enemy anyways we then hit the bottom and go back to the top of the loop at least this is what i hope happens let's see Pacha, pacha, go, hero, go. Looking good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, oh, we got it, we got it. Go, hero, go. Man, that is a lot of enemies, oh my goodness. Cleave. Are we going to make it? Where are they all coming from? Oh no, oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh, did we? Awesome. Looks like we wiped out the camp. And wow, great. So this is the code that worked for me. Awesome. I'm going to keep going.